What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Camp with Coleman. It's your boy Josh, aka Coleman, and uh, we're gonna start doing these unboxing videos. Um, we're gonna start kind of in order of how the boxes showed up. So uh, I've just I've got a bunch of products I need to go over with you guys, and I don't want to go back and forth between everybody and all that stuff and get confused. And um, once I get to the CKRC stuff, I wanna I kind of want to do that last, I think, because that's uh, then I'm just going to dive straight into Hercules. So today what we're going to get into is uh, CowRC. That's what we're going to get into today. I've got a couple of things from CowRC. Um, some of them I've gone over before with you guys. And then, uh, you know, but we're going to talk about them again anyways. Because there's always something new that I figure out. And there's always something new I want to do. Sorry, I'm trying to get some stuff off the bench here. And we're doing this vlog style today. I'm not going to set up a tripod and all that. And get all fancy dancing not today we're just gonna keep it real keep it simple um i'm having a pretty good day i got a christmas party to go to with my wife tonight it should be should be kind of fun i'm not much of a party guy but uh i'll go hang out and eat some free food that sounds good to me and uh all right so anyways here we go today i have some things that you guys have already seen before so we'll go over those first super quickly i'm more or less just getting restocked here on some things that i use a lot so this right here uh this is moo clean and you see i got two of those because i use those a lot i use these to clean out um motors to clean grease off of things it's basically like a really good degreaser and electronics cleaner well yeah there it says right there electronic cleaner and degreaser <laughs> um i use this for a lot of stuff you can see what they recommend it for right there uh it's pretty much you know an all-around awesome cleaner but the thing is um i blow through it a lot because i blow through well i blow through everything a lot um but i also use it for other things so i'm not gonna lie I use it for like aging on paints, I use it to clean things, so like if I want to clean off my uh, work mats, like this work mat is super old and I know it looks really bad right now, but it would look a lot worse if it wasn't for this. I will put a little bit of this on a rag and I'll clean up stuff, you know, when I get little spills and things like that, it just works really good. Um, but it, you know, this is self-explanatory, a lot of you guys already know how to use cleaning products. Moose Lick is another story though. Moose Lick is pretty awesome. This gets used a lot as well, um, but a little bit goes a long way, so I don't need to get a whole bunch of this on deck every time. I still have a little actually. Pow. And uh, that's because this is, um, it's just, it's really, really efficient at doing its job. This is a silicone protector, as they say right here. Forms a dry, dirt repelling, dirt repelling film. Ideal for all exposed gears, repels corrosion and dirt, great for suspension parts, um, and a lot more. Honestly, I use it for bearings more than anything. Uh, when I get bearings, I use a combination of these two. So every time I take an axle apart or take a tranny apart or something like that, um, everyone knows bearings aren't that cheap, if you want good bearings anyways. And uh, so I want to preserve them as much as I can. And when I do that, I do it with these two products. What I'll do is I'll shoot some Moot Clean on them, get all the dirt and grime out, right? You know, I always use the little guy on the side here just because it's directional, puts the, you know, the force of the spray right where I need it, breaks up all the dirt and the grime, spin the bearings around, and uh, just really, really break up anything that's in there, right? And then I'll go ahead and I'll dry them out and uh, let them sit for a little bit, and then I'll come back with some Moose Lick and I'll hit them hardcore with the moose slick. And same thing, just spin them around and uh, roll them around your fingers or in a rag or something and use the moose slick on them. And same thing, use the little tip there just to get it right where you want it. And uh, you can keep your bearings going twice as long as you normally would. Sometimes a lot longer than that. I've got some bearings that have been surprisingly well. If you buy good bearings, this will get the most out of your bearings, no doubt. So anyways, that's something uh, I just want to recommend to you guys, obviously, because as a uh, CowRC-sponsored channel, um, 
I, it's not just to throw it down your throat. Uh, I want the best for my products. I want the best for my channel. And CalRC just does a great job of it. Um, they've been in the business for a long time. And those of you that have been in RC for a while now, you know there's plenty of knockoffs out there, but there's only one CalRC, and they do a great job of really, really standing up for the community and uh, providing good products. So check out these essentials, no doubt. Another essential I use a lot of, Utter Butter. You guys have heard me talk about this a million times, so I'm not going to go into detail on it. Uh, I use it in everything. I pack my trannies with it. I pack uh, my axles with it. I pack my bearings. Everything. Everything gets packed with Utter Butter. It is awesome. Even my servos get Utter Butter. I put Utter Butter in everything. This right here is a dot box. Now these, um, I'm not going to open this because I have one already open. I can show you guys. Now obviously I got some stickers here too set those aside but these stickers are specifically oops don't want to show that one off yet these stickers right here are specifically for this and uh, that's pretty cool and just to show you guys what that looks like to save me some time here we're gonna go over to this and this is where I keep my toolboxes when I'm going to like uh, axial fest and events and things like that I take this little guy and I take this little guy there's a dot box I also have this big one here which is not a dot box um, but it's not convenient to pack around either. And this is where I store most of my hardware. Um, pretty much all my Team k, &K hardware gets stored in this. So that gave me the idea. Well, why don't I make one that I can take with me on the road that can fit into that. And that's where this comes into play. So what I did is I got two dot boxes because they come with a specific set of boxes inside there. And I'll show you what I mean by dot boxes. When you open this up, it's got all these little guys here. Just like that, right? And each one connects to the other if you want it to. Well, I can't say each one, but uh, the little guys here connect to each other, right? Which is kind of cool. So you can make little packs of things, right? They go together. And then these stack on top of each other perfectly. And then these are the, you know, the ones that go all the way down a little bit deeper. And then if you got some bigger hardware, you can use these guys. And uh, so what I did was I redesigned this here because this originally comes with a slightly different layout in here, right? Not much different, but a slightly different layout. And I got two of them and made one super awesome one here. And uh, this thing just kicks ass, man. It's really, really cool. I can literally build a whole SEX-10 out of the hardware I have in this right here. This is a full Team k, &K SEX-10 hardware kit inside of this. So literally, if I go out to Axial Fest or wherever I go, I don't have to you know, worry about like having all the screws and stuff I need on me. I can just get a Team K&K SEX-10 hardware kit and get two dot boxes, make myself a custom dot box, and now no matter what event I go to, I have a full Axial SEX-10 kit ready to go. And uh, if somebody else needs hardware on the trail or whatever, I know I got something for them. And if you really want to be a badass, just get two Team K&K hardware kits and just throw both in there. I mean, there's enough room to stock it all. You could probably put three in there. And you got all the hardware you need ever in one little tiny convenient package. I mean, I could literally, I could fit this thing in my pocket if I wanted to. It's that cool. So uh, that's what I use the dot boxes for you guys. And you can see where the stickers come in. Love the American flag scheme they got going here. This is just awesome. Or theme scheme. <laughs> Look at that. That's awesome. So uh, all you guys know, I'm kind of patriotic. Love my American flag stuff. And then that gets us to this big box here. This big box has something I am super stoked on. You guys are going to be seeing a lot of this in my build videos. And I'll go ahead and show you this. This kind of gives it away. It's the Jet Blaster. High Performance Air Blaster. This thing is wicked, man. Now, I already opened it. I'm not going to lie. So, we'll just flip this over here and expose the fact that I've already opened it. <laughs> I used it to clean my uh, computer and, um, or I mean like my keyboard and stuff, you know, on my computer. It's just, this thing is wicked powerful, man. Like insanely powerful. It plugs in right here. Well, I'm trying to do this one-handed. Let's just slide this whole thing out of here. Woo! Come on, come on, here she comes. Here she goes, boom! And make sure I get everything out of there. All right, set that box down, put that back up there. All right, so. A little straw there, I forgot to put that back in the bag. Like I said, I already opened this up once. Uh, let's just empty this bag out here and show you the accessories it comes with. 
It's a little sloppy doing this one handed, but you can see here, it's literally just a bunch of attachments that go on the tip so you can get into all kinds of little areas, little crevices, uh, brush for, you know, if you want to really, really dust some stuff off, brush some stuff off with some air power behind it. Uh, if you need to get around little bends and things like that, and this extends as well, just like a straw. And uh, it's just, yeah, it's awesome, man. This thing is really, really cool. So let's go ahead and hook this up, just to show you guys real quick, right? Actually, no, we're not going to, yeah, we'll do it. We'll do it. I wasn't going to do it, but we'll do it. It only takes a second to plug this in. See if I can do this one-handed here. Oh, big old gorilla hands. Yeah, there we go. All right, so that just clicks on there. It's literally got this little button, this little dowel, all right? Now what we'll do is we'll take this, which hopefully I don't have it tangled up too bad here, and we'll plug her into one of my many fire hazards. Holy cow, whoa! And it's turned on. All right, there we go. My reaction to the Cal RC Jet Blaster. I just about fell off of my seat. Jeez. All right. Wow. <laughs> my heart is pounding that actually scared me <laughs> all right sorry sorry all right let's do this <laughs> so here's the jet blaster i did not expect that and uh you guys don't worry they don't come turned on like that so when you plug them in they <laughs> i actually left it plugged on because i was using it already but there you go you can see in comparison to my hand the size of it now i do have a little mini air compressor in here i use right and so i always have this right here well, it's frustrating. You get this big long cord and all that stuff, right? And uh, then I gotta turn it on. You can see it. There's a little air left in it, but I gotta turn it on. It's loud, obnoxious, right? And uh, then it kicks on randomly. So yeah, it's just frustrating. This, on the other hand, this is simple, easy. Look at that thing. It's like a little bottled up tornado. Now watch this. See if this will actually blow some stuff around. Start small here. <laughs> Let's get a little bigger. It'll definitely blow some stuff around, man. That's for sure. I doubt it'll blow that over. That's that's a thing of water there. Okay, maybe it will. Maybe it will. Let's do that again. That's uh, that's my water for the day. Let's see if it'll. I don't know how far away we need to be here. We'll shoot for the Earth 2.0 sign. <laughs> yeah, I'm stoked on that. So as you guys can see. It is definitely uh, loud, but it is very functional. And I will be using this. Turn it on, this stuff off. Yeah, that is awesome. So yeah, there we go. That is something I'm gonna be using a lot here around the shop. This thing is super cool. Um, I'm probably, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna get rid of the air compressor, but it's probably gonna get put up because it just takes up space in this hideous little hole down there needs some work anyway so yeah this thing's way way prettier way more convenient it can just be like sitting somewhere you know just anywhere and then you can just grab it and put it right where you need it and yeah great product Keith. great product from cow rc i'm super stoked on that so if you guys don't have these products right here highly suggested for me highly suggested from extreme scale performance and uh you will be seeing these all in use on my channel quite often um especially this guy that's just too convenient man that's just too cool and with all the tips and stuff that it comes with i mean all these different little you can do all kinds of stuff i already used it like i said to clean the computer um you know getting in the keys and all that stuff it made it look like a brand new keyboard so yeah it's really cool Really cool. Shout out to CalRC on that. Uh, long time sponsor of Extreme Scope Performance and a uh, long time producer of amazing products. So you guys go check them out. Link is in my description like always. You know the routine. Peace and chicken grease. Yeah.